Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here. My name is Amira Hall. I am a spirit medium and a psychic energy healer. I'm here to help you raise your vibration, tune into your intuition and manifest a life you love. And today I'm here with a channeled message for all the astrological signs for the month of October. I want to thank everyone here who has been supporting me, who give, gives me all your likes and your comments and sharing um, the videos. It really means so much to me when you subscribe and when you share and comment. And so please stay till the end of the video. I have something, a new announcement that I'd like to share with you on that note. Now let's dive into Spirit's message for the month. My guides woke me up at 3 a.m. channeling this message through me last night and they started out by saying you think you know what you want but what does your soul want and for some of you listening today you might be fighting yourself and you're not listening your ego is literally fighting for survival some of you are fighting just to be heard or to be validated by others around you and some of you might not even know that you're in a battle at all. Some of you might be saying to yourself, well, I would do what I wanted to do or what I'm dreaming if I only had the money, or if I only had the time, I would do blankety blank, or I maybe I would, if I only had the freedom, I would do that. What this is doing is creating resistance. And that resistance is coming through those stories that you keep telling yourself. That the beliefs that you can't do it because. That is actually creating a resistance to your flow. And this just frustrates your soul and your higher self. Well, spirit and your guides are nudging you forward. They want you to have a fuller expression of yourself. But those hidden fears or those tired old stories and beliefs, you know what? They're telling you why you can't do something and it just gets in your way and that creates resistance. It stops your flow. And our, my guides are here to say that we have to get into our flow in order to create and to have this fulfillment that our soul wants. Spirit is saying that they're here to help us get out of our own way and to get into our flow. That creative self part of you is working really hard, but you also need to help it out. And maybe you made the decision that you're not even creative, you don't have a creative bone in your body, or you don't have the time, or you don't have the energy, so on and so on. You get my drift. But really, Spirit is saying, you just haven't allowed the space or the time, and maybe you're just too exhausted from pushing so hard in your workaday job. Spirit is asking and encouraging us to reconnect with that part of ourself that taps into the source of all of creation. And you might be wondering by that comment is, you know, like, what does that have to do with manifesting or having abundance or just getting what I want? So over the past few months, you know, I've had really been feeling this energy cranked up and be, feeling the push and, and, and this energy building all around us. You know, several years ago, I worked on a book, um, Manifesting Miracles, The Art of Being in the Flow. And manifesting, you know, it's both an art and a skill. It's a science and it can be learned and we can develop and learn how to create this balance of being in this flow. You know, the book was based on 20 years of my mentoring training with students and using my quantum energy tools that you've heard me talk about before in my previous videos. But the art of manifesting is using those tools and the skills and practice. And it was developed over this one year mentoring program. Now the energies have accelerated so much that it's now a 10 week training program that then takes you about a year to integrate all the shifts of what you experience. What's happening now is the energies on the planet are accelerating and it's pushing, pushing us to go faster and deeper and, and deeper than we've ever experienced. The energies are supporting us to organically ride these waves of change all around us and to be in this creative flow that's building a momentum around what we are going to experience next. So this means that in order for us to be in this creative flow for manifesting, we must release blocks and be able to shift to get into this natural rhythm. Personally, Spirit's been pushing me really hard over the past four or five months. You know, it all started out with um, my Soul Wisdom cards that I channeled that I have been sharing with you. Now that just sort of came out of nowhere. And then 
I was inspired to um, do some watercolor painting. You know, I studied art in interior design and learned the basics of watercoloring. But, um, the, you know, I just started picking up the watercolors and started painting and exploring and, and just letting go is what it was happening. I've never painted flowers in my life. You know, this is just some of my practice work. And then I was guided to, you know, start with this acrylic, um, uh, fluid art where it's really abstract and it was spirit was just guiding me to getting into this flow and I've put some of my paintings into my store for you to on my website for you to check out maybe it'll inspire you to take your um, your creativity to the next level or to open yourself up and to help you be in the flow. Spirit is basically telling us that this is a time to get out of that pattern of overthinking. Get out of your head and drop into your heart to be into this flow, this natural flow, this energy coming up over the next few months is supporting us to raise our vibration and tune into our heart of hearts. And we're having to release all this buried pain and release emotional blocks that are surfacing at this time so that our creative energy can flow and that will manifest, accelerate our manifesting abilities. Tapping into this greater flow in your life, you may begin feeling the pulse of the universe as you start connecting with the unseen world around you. Um, and for many months now, I've been feeling and talking about these changes that are coming, how our perceptions are changing. So go back and listen to maybe August or September, and you'll perhaps gleam a deeper understanding of the message that was coming through, because these energies are rolling out for the next several months. It's not specific to any one month, and it's not exact like on a calendar year, you know, where we're experiencing these energies. It's a gradual rollout of the frequency on the planet. But it is imperative to work out any blocks that are blocking or creating wedges for you to be in your flow and to create, um, to manifest. These pain points that you might be bumping up against, they can take and limit your capacity for greater abundance, for more love or joy and general well-being. You know, and some of you I know have been screaming, I've done it all. What more is there to do? Or how come? It's, when does it ever end? It never ends. I tell you that from personal experience. You know, I, I know and I hear so many of you, you know, express in our private sessions that, you know, what more is there to let go of? Or you feel like you're at your breaking point, yet you've, tr you've let go of all that you can let go of. You know, there's more frustration to let go of. I'm sorry to say and let go of everything that you've already let go of. Perhaps you need to let go of your need to control things or for things to be different and hurry up. Maybe that's what needs to be um, shifted. You know, some of us, you know, we place orders on Amazon and we are accustomed to getting our delivery in a couple of days. So, you know, we're attached to this immediate gratification and spirit saying that we've got to let go of our attachment to having instant delivery. Yes, manifestations can happen very, very quickly now. However, it's your attachment to getting it right now that keeps us stuck. So uh, I know you've probably heard that before, but we're spirits guiding us to show us and, allow, and help us to let ourselves be guided into this quiet place where we can be supported to be in the flow, you know, where we can with the eyes of a child or a heart and mind of curiosity, really let that creative part of ourself, that creative genius, let us be in a flow and be in a place of surrender where we can explore and discover new parts of ourselves. Your inner voice is, is calling you to explore yourself at a deeper level. Spirit's asking us to connect with creative arts for a way to surrender, to let go of our ego and, and to be in and connect with other parts of ourselves. You know, your inner voice wants you to be creative and playful. And it, as we do that, it raises our vibration. It shifts our energy. So that's where the magic of creation occurs. And that allows your own essence to be magnetic and draw your heart's desires to you. And sure, my guides are showing me that what matters most to you that has been so elusive can then come close to you. 
you know, it's time for us to raise our vibration. And my guides are saying that what matters most to you is that you get back on track or that you begin living your life purpose to have more fulfillment for you to live on purpose is not that difficult. Only it's the resistance that's blocking your flow to doing that. As we raise our vibration and release resistance, we get into our flow. We align with our heart. We get out of our head. We open to receive our greater good and creativity is different for everybody and the examples are different. It might be dancing, it might be a new way of doing something that you've always done. Maybe you sit down quietly with a pen and paper and just start writing down random thoughts or channeling like I do. Or maybe you write what you're hearing, the thoughts in your head. For some of you that damn dam is about to break and perhaps you've been flooded with emotions or frustrations and you just feel out of sorts. I've been hearing from some of you that you are noticing that and this is definitely a time to release at a deeper level and of course you know behind some of what is releasing is what's holding you stuck. You know these unconscious blocks are begging you because they make you sick they create dysfunction, they create um, and kill uh, relationships and careers. So I know some of you are weary. I know you feel broken down. I know that you're tired and you want to hide from the world. Or maybe you're embarrassed thinking, how in the heck did I even get in this crazy place? Some of the simplest steps for you to start is just start releasing these blocks or let yourself have a good cry for God's sakes and just let yourself benefit from that release. You know, you might pick up some adult coloring books or maybe you cook a new recipe or maybe you just get out in the garden and pull some weeds. Uh, that's grounding too. But for, for one, my guides are saying we need to shut off the TV and not try and escape through launching on into a fantasy or a, a different movie. You know, it's time to get your hands dirty and to let the energy flow through your arms. Your arms are the creative channels from where all the energy flows from your higher self through your hands into expression into the world. And you know, spirit woke me up at 3 a.m. and started channeling the message to you. <laughs> Some of you are not really thinking very clear and you know the dust on your brain needs to be a little bit, you know, the cobwebs cleared out um, to, in order for that creative juices to start flowing. So maybe it's like me, you start with one thing and it leads you to something else. But this is a time of highly inspired energy where it's guiding us to new approaches of expressing ourselves and breaking out of a mold that you've poured for yourself or that was poured for you from everybody around you. You know, your true self wants to be rolled out. Your true nature wants to be expressed and revealed. And, it, and color is a wonderful way of doing that. It's a time for exploring new parts of yourself, maybe a new way of being. And so for some of you, it also might mean having some moments of tough love and raising your expectations of how others get to treat you. Maybe you need, maybe you're at your breaking point. Maybe you're at a place of you're saying no more and you expect a certain level of respect. Maybe you need to start being kinder to yourself and set some quiet time to meditate and, and honor your spirit. Maybe it's time for those energy showers that I've been harping about and tapping into this new version of yourself that's trying to emerge from this cocoon. It's about, my guides are saying, this is a very powerful time over the next three months. Uh, so don't waste this creative window that we're in. You know, I want to start by sharing, I pulled one uh, soul wisdom card today to share with you. And what my guides are saying is that some of the traditional ways of thinking and acting are shifting. Your perspective of how you see the world and how you see yourself is shifting. The masculine and feminine uh, parts of our energy is shifting and altering and how we operate. You know, that feminine part of ourselves, that intuitive, nurturing and creative self, you know, imagine it's a curly or swirly line and the masculine part of ourself, consider that straight lines and angles. 
Well, that feminine aspect to who we are is coming out of the shadows. It wants to become more visible and dominant, and it's guiding us into a whole new way of balancing this masculine and feminine parts of ourselves. For example, it's not all about taking logical steps of action, but perhaps trusting your intuitive guidance and taking some steps that are out of sync from what you would normally do towards manifesting something that you desire. Um, it's exploring uncharted territories in new ways and how we ch how we choose to use these energies. Um, you know, that arm in the center is all wrapped with different strands of colorful beads and it's begging us to be more creative and allow this creative energy to flow through us, express ourselves in all new ways. Now, in alignment with the message of going with the flow and trusting my guides, I asked them which painting I have made over the last few months that would best explain or help you understand their message for you today. So although painting is not new to me, um, I haven't touched it for years. And so this whole new way of letting go and allowing this the paint to show me is, is this acrylic pouring. So in this painting, the process of the bubbles showing us rising from the deep, you know, it came to me in the last video, you know, popping bubbles. So spirit is shining bright above us and, and, and guiding us and showing us aspects to ourselves that's been hidden, the vibrations that need to be released through the bubbles. And I just love how this violet and this blue river-like energy is showing us to be in the flow. And being under a sense of underwater in this in this painting helps us to see that, you know, energies deep within us are shifting and becoming visible or uh, rising to the surface. And we're being guided to going with the flow, releasing and popping those bubbles in our energy helps us to raise our vibration. And we become lighter and brighter and manifesting more of our golden and heart's desires. And my guides are encouraging you to re-listen to August and September's messages so you will gain more clarity on what they're trying to say to you today. And of course, if you need some validation to know whether you're on the right track, that's what I'm here to do to help you guide you and to help you take the path of least resistance. And you can find a private link in the description below. Um, additionally, you know, many of you have asked, you know, how can you support my channel and the work I'm doing here for you? And I truly, truly appreciate that. So I love what I do and I love you. So I've taken the next step to create a Patreon account what, that I've opened that you can be part of a membership where I can support the members membership um, in an exclusive way. So you can check out the options there for you. And I so I invite you to join that. And if you'd like to leave me a tip for today's message, uh, go ahead and there's a link below uh, PayPal me in my tip jar. So with that said, that's it for today's message. If it resonates, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up, leave your comments and subscribe and, and, and tap the bell so you don't miss my upcoming messages, so the upcoming videos. I know that these are some exciting months ahead. So until then, I will see you on my next video. Many blessings to you of magical manifesting. Uh, Mira, really, uh, some amazing things are happening. Like uh, I've never closed, I've never ever closed uh, a, such a big deal that uh, I just managed to close up and that really brought a lot of my approaches like my dad and all this thing to such a level where where it's not that serious as it used to be. Well, it is a bit uh, cranked up now, but it's not as serious as it used to be. And uh, really, like, uh, the work that I do has got stronger. I mean, like, results have to come faster on people, and sometimes I just sit there and I'm like, but my clients are seeing bigger results than I see on myself, and I'm like, what the? It's like, I worked on them, and they're happier than I am. Well, is this, is this something crazy thing happening? But anyway, God bless their souls as well. So, really, good things are happening, and um, I mean, like, I, I really, really, I'm, I'm really grateful, and I, uh, seriously, when I hired you, I mean, like, when I was uh, spending the money, now, I actually played blind. I played a big rule, like, I, all I had was the power 2000, and I said, I'm going to take this risk and see what's going to happen, and it just multifolded and just rushed into my life, and it's really amazing. Thank you so much. It's really amazing.